All right, before we wrap things up here, while we're in the Syngenta tent, we are happy to have with us Mike Missman, a farmer from Wooden, Iowa. And you've heard us talk before about uh, indigen corn for ethanol production. And, and Mike is a farmer who, uh, who has grown indigen. Mike, thanks for joining us. Uh, tell us about your experience with it. Well, this is my first year of growing indigen. Um, uh, the antigen is uh, being used in trial uh, situations in these the local ethanol plants. And as a grower and also as a seed advisor, seed dealer, myself and two other customers are growing this. So um, uh, when we first went into it in February, we thought maybe it was going to be kind of a, a lot of hassle and paperwork and meetings and, and then a lot of people watching over you. But uh, so far, it's been a walk in the park. And how's it performed? Uh, we're going to find that out real soon. Uh, I have to say that in our area, we've gotten rains not timely, but enough to keep us alive. And our soil types are, are heavy enough where we can withstand some dryness. But uh, the, pro the particular hybrid that the antigen uh, trait was, is in, is uh, it, it likes dry feet. So, so far, we're, we got our fingers crossed that we're going to be too disappointed. Now, let's talk about the uh, attributes of energy. When you're looking at producing for ethanol production, what does this uh, have over conventional corn? Well, the antigen trait allows ethanol plants to not have to buy uh, this liquid amylase, and that's a big cost savings right there. But what even the bigger savings that I know uh, about this, because I'm no chemist, is that the viscosity of the product that flows through the, through the lines in an ethanol plant is like oatmeal. And if they use our antigen product, antigen corn, in their grind, it turns it into a viscosity of lemonade. So th they use less energy. They use less uh, gas, and it's a lot easier on their system, their pumps and the lines and stuff. Now, any difference in your production practices uh, during the course of a year with Enogen? The only difference in so far with our production is that when you plant a field of Enogen, you have to put border rows all around that one field. So when you start planting it, whether you've got a you know, 12 row or 16 row, you need a 30 foot border or up to a 40 foot border. So you put in a non antigen crop of corn uh, around that field and then you just plant the Enogen. Uh, planter clean out, you do that right there in that field. So if any seed falls in the ground, it stays right there within that. And as far as harvest is concerned, you have to contain that corn in one bin. You can't commingle it. Why did you want to go with Enogen, and, and what about your future plan? Well, uh, I'm a farmer, so you look for the biggest bang for your buck. And with Enogen, uh, ethanol plants are paying you a 40 cent per bushel premium. And uh, then they also pay for the transportation costs to get that from your bin to the, to the plant. So, you know, in our area, 180, 90 bushel corn, you're looking at a possible $80 an acre extra just by growing this corn. So you plan to grow more of it in the future? My plan next year is actually double the acres I have this year. Very good. Good luck in harvest. Thank you very much. I appreciate your time. All right. That is Mike Missman, farmer from Iowa, growing energy corn for ethanol production. And with that, we'll wrap it up here at the Syngenta booth, day number two of the Farm Progress Show. Thanks for joining us. From Boone, Iowa, I'm Mike Adams. This is AgriTalk Online.